Yeah, you can stop. Um, good morning, everyone. I am going to discuss about self-compacting concrete. SSE is a type of concrete which attains compaction without the use of external vibrators. This type of concrete is used in places where the use of vibrators is quite hard. They have a higher flow ability in the fresh state, which enables self-compaction without any segregation issues. The various materials used in making SEC are ordinary Portland cement, fine aggregate, coarse aggregate, water, chemical and mineral admixture. Cement of grade 43 or 53 is generally used. Fine aggregate of size smaller than 0.125 mm is used. They can be either natural or manufactured with uniform grade. Coarse aggregate size is limited to 20 mm. But for congested reinforcement, size can vary between 10 to 12 mm. Well graded, round, or cubical aggregates are more preferred for good performance. Superplasticizer, air entrained agents, and retardants are the various chemical admixtures used. Quantity of water used is similar to that of ordinary concrete. Mineral admixtures are used according to the mix design. Some of them are fly ash, which improves the filling of internal concrete matrix, thereby resulting in fewer pores. GGPS improves the rheological property of concrete. Rheology means how a material deforms or flow when force is applied. The material property that governs the specific way in which these flow behavior occurs is called as rheological property. Stone powder improves the powder content, whereas silica fumes improves mechanical properties. We may observe that the quantity of gravel used in SCC is lower than that of ordinary concrete, but the amount of binding material used is increased in self-compacting concrete. The three major properties of self-compacting concrete are flowability, passing ability, and resistant to segregation. Flowability is the ability to fill all the areas, whereas passing ability is the ability to pass through congested reinforcement. Resistance to segregation is the ability to retain the coarse component without segregation as a homogeneous material. In order to achieve these properties, a few changes are made compared to conventional mixes such as using high powder content. This provides plastic viscosity and hence prevents segregation. High grade SEC fall under this category. Using of VMA. VMA stands for viscosity modifying admixture. Segregation is controlled by VMA. Low grade SEC fall under this category. Combination of both VMA and higher powder content leads to median grade SEC mixes. There are various tests, there are various tests conducted on SEC depending on their properties. Filling ability is determined by slump flow test, T50 cm slump flow test, V funnel test, and Ormet test. Passing ability is determined by J box, L box, U box, and fill box test. Segregation Segregation resistance is determined by V-funnel v test at T5, uh, T5 minutes and GTM green stability test. This is the slump flow, uh, slump flow test setup. The value should reach between 650 mm to 850 mm. Next is the T50 centimeter slump flow test. Its range should be between 2 to 5 seconds. V funnel test value should range between 8 to 12 seconds. This is the Ormet device and its value should be between 0 to 5 seconds. This is the J, J ring apparatus and its typical value should range between 0 to 10 millimeter. This is an L box and its value should range between 0 0.8 mm to 1 mm. Um, this is the picture of a Con uh, U box U box and its value should range between 0 to 30 centimeter. This is the fill box apparatus and its value should range between 90% to 100%. 
This is the apparatus used to perform V-funnel test and its value should be around 0 to 3 seconds. And this is the apparatus to perform GTM screen stability test and its value should range between 0, uh, 0 to 15, so 15 percentage. The various factors that affects SEC are hot weather, long haul distance, which reduces workability, delay of work on site, and addition of more water at site, which leads to stability problems. Self-compacting concrete has numerous advantages, such as reduction in skilled labor, it bonds easily to steel rebars, easily flows into congested and complex areas, voids are minimized, provides high strength and durability, accelerates project schedule, fast placement and reduction in noise level without the use of mechanical vibrators. It also produces uniform surface. SSC also has some disadvantages such as material selection is very strict and high precision is required while measuring. Con cost of construction is quite higher than regular concrete. Many trial batches and laboratory tests are required to use a design mixture. And most importantly, there is no internationally accepted test standards yet for SCC. Here are a few applications of SCC. Uh, construction of raft and pile foundation, use of retrofitting, I mean used in retrofitting and repair construction, used in construction of earth entrain system, earth retaining system, drill shaft and column structures with complex reinforcement, Um, thank you. Sir? Sure. 